Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love readings. Uh, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the weeks of November the 17th through the 30th, 2019. Um, so I have shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they give you some clarity. Um, also, if you guys want to book a personal or private reading, you can email tomajtarot at gmail.com. Payments are collected on Friday. That information is in the description box. If you want to reach me by phone, uh, I usually take calls Monday through Thursday um, from 1 to 5 p.m. or somewhere between that time frame. Uh, but always check. It's best for me to po wait for me to post a notification saying, hey, I'm taking calls. So um, if you don't see that notification, I probably am not taking calls for the day. That's why you should make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that subscription bell as well. All right. Uh, central issue, heart of the matter, the devil. Four of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. We have the Sun. The Hierophant. Uh, well, I'm sorry, the Hermit and the Hierophant. Queen of Pentacles. The High Priestess. Hmm. And then I noticed the moon here. There is somebody has a secret. You're being asked to trust your intuition. Somebody is refraining from speaking out in uh, how they feel. Someone is coming off painfully shy um, someone is letting their fears hold them back from having the love that they want to have or expressing how they feel about uh, if you're in a relationship it, it, having a fear of expressing something but I feel like someone someone has a secret um, and sometimes I feel like someone gets a headache or maybe you've been suffering from headaches, taking aspirin or ibuprofen. Um, I feel I feel like you're wanting a break from this. You're like, this is stressful. Holding back these feelings. Um, there's some sort of temptation going on. Mm. I'm getting a lot of um, restraint. Now, sexually, some of you guys might be into uh, bondage, um, whether it be physical or psychological. Uh, that was something I was even looking into one time, like, what if I got a little BDSM in me, but I don't, I'm not into like all the straps and stuff, but that psychological thing might be a little sexy. So kind of like someone telling you like what they're going to do to you not they don't want you to do this and that it's kind of like when you trust someone you hand over your control to them um assuming they're not going to abuse it so i would say in that type of um mental bondage relationship there needs to be trust there needs to be a foundation of trust um, in order for that to work. And I also feel like there's a need to have some sort of safe word. Um, let's say, for instance, you guys play some sort of um, mental sexual games, you know, or it's, it's just a turn on. Like for, you know, someone to call you up and say, um, I want you to wear black for a week straight. If you if you if I find out that you're wearing something else and I'm going to be watching you you're going to get punished. You know, it's kind of like, okay, you know, some some sort of mental seduction, I feel, is going on for some of you. This just kind of took a weird turn. Um, uh, I'm going to get back to something else, but something weird and sexual did start kind of talking to me when I saw this devil chained up and then this person is all bondaged. Um, so I feel that there could be a situation where maybe you need to establish a safe word. Um, so, yeah, I feel that for some of you, too, 
this is about someone restraining themselves. Now, in a negative sense, you may have had to at some point get a restraining order from someone. Um, yeah, you could have needed a restraining order from someone at some point, or maybe you feel like you need to get a restraining order from this person. Uh, you also could be dealing with a Capricorn because I'm getting strong Capricorn energy. Also Taurus and Virgo. Maybe there's a lot of earth energy around you. Um, now also I'm getting a situation where someone feels locked into a marriage. Uh... I feel like maybe someone feels locked into a marriage and there could be someone around you that is coming off as temptation or desire, but you're like, I can't do that because I'm committed. I take my vows seriously. So the Hierophant is looking like this is some sort of commitment, but at the same time feeling uh, locked into it. Now, looking at these two together, also makes me feel like you could be dealing with someone who is being held against their will. So someone who's literally in jail by the, the you know, they're in federal prison or something, or it could be state prison, but whatever the case, someone uh, could be locked up um, because of breaking some sort of laws or breaking the rules. Or maybe someone is on house arrest Someone is, is struggling. They're like, I, I, I wish I wasn't on house arrest. I wish I was free. Uh, they got me locked up. I'm all isolated. I'm by myself. There's nothing I could do about my situation. Oh, my God. Sorry, they just started watching a movie downstairs. <laughs> TV's kind of loud. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, for some of you, this, you might be trying to find out how to get this person free. Now, also, this person may be coming out soon with the sun. Um, so, you know what, also whatever someone has been holding back or suppressing is getting ready to be released. Um, so either someone is getting ready to get released from jail, especially I feel maybe in Sagittarius, the beginning of Sagittarius season. Um, I also feel that if someone is holding back how they feel, this is the truth coming out, somebody being completely honest. Um, I even see a situation where <laughs> I feel like you have some sort of uh, karmic link to your soulmate. Like you're, this is, this is your soulmate. This is a karmic contract. Um, but it, it's, 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 it's gotta, it's gonna be heavy. It might be a, a relationship that comes with a lot of karma, or you could be dealing with someone who is surrounded by this type of energy, either by profession or because this person is uh, themselves uh, suffers from some sort of um, codependency. Um, but as far as like a career, this, like I was saying, maybe this person is uh, surrounded by su seduction, temptation. So it, this person could be an entertainer uh, where that lifestyle follows, um, getting a lot of uh, things thrown at them, sex, drugs, alcohol, anything that is very earthly based, materialistic, uh, stuff that keeps you locked into a way of thinking. Uh, matter of fact, there may be a need to incorporate more spirituality into your life. Period, because I'm seeing like a lot of material energy here. And that is how you stay locked into your karma or locked into this dimension. Um, so there are things that you need to start freeing yourself from, uh, starting with the, the mind. Um, so I feel like that could be a situation you're dealing with someone. Maybe the purpose of you connecting with this person, because sun is also purpose. Maybe you're connecting with this person uh, so that you can help them break free from some sort of mentality. Or maybe you are the one that has some sort of mentality 
um, that you need to break free from. You know, especially here with the Hierophant, indicates someone who likes to follow the laws, someone who is, uh, you know, follows the status quo. And it's just like, do you know how to think for yourself? Matter of fact, High Priestess and the Hierophant are kind of like divine masculine and divine feminine to me in a sense because she is knowledgeable she has a wealth of information based off of just intuition this person has a wealth of intuition based off of their studies this person has read every book and so and maybe they have experienced things, but they've read every book so they know all the answers based off of the, the memory that they retain from books that they've read, um, documentaries that they've watched. This person, on the other hand, it's like, how do you know these things? I don't know. I just know. It's like, but you were right. I don't know. I just know. So this person, it's like they, they're both valuable. Their knowledge is both valuable. It's just that one is learned and one is intuitive. So there may be a need to combine these energies together. Or it's like, especially if you are going to be some sort of healer, like the both of you have different talents or different, um, there's a way to incorporate your talents together. Um... This looks like Divine Mother and Father here. I feel that also there's a, there's a need for you to have patience about with your situation. Um, and just to kind of trust your inner feelings that you're having about how to proceed. If there's someone new coming into your life or if you're in a situation where you're like, should I stay or should I go? I feel like someone is a part of your spiritual path or your spiritual journey. Uh, I feel like you're doing a lot of soul searching. So someone, this person may be illuminating things for you. This person may be your light to something higher, a higher calling. Um, or, you know, the same that you could be helping them out, finding them, discover, helping them find their passion or discover their gifts. It may be meant for the two of you to do spiritual works together, or maybe you already do that. Mm. I don't know why, uh, of course, I'm thinking about the the demon slayers, well, or ghost hunters. Um, I mentioned them before. I always blank out when I'm recording. Lorraine and um, Ed and Ed and Lorraine, they were famous ghost hunters. One of them recently passed away, I think. I don't, maybe both of them have passed now. But yeah, Ed and Lorraine, the, I know like The Conjuring, I think is based off of, you know, fictitious parts. They fictionalized some of their um, story, but uh, they were real life ghost hunters. So I don't know why I'm getting that image of two people who do, uh, one person c does exorcisms and the other person um, can channel or talk to the dead. So I don't know. I'm kind of getting like two unusual talents, two spiritual talents. Now, on a mundane level, maybe it's not so much of that, but I do see a student in a teacher situation. So some of you could be dealing with um, a teacher. Um, hmm. And I also feel like there's a need to learn about, to learn some sort of lesson in regards to the person that you're connecting to. I did not mean to go this long for you guys. Let me go ahead and move on. Some of you may be talking about marriage or commitment. I feel that for some of you, you're going to have some sort of dreams or premonitions before someone enters your life. Or maybe when this person enters your life, you're going to go back to your dream journal and realize that you were war not warned, but prepared. Like your dream, your higher self was preparing you for this uh, connection that is coming into your life. Um, hmm. Some of you, it may not be about entering a relationship. 
you may just fully be focused on yourself. Um, maybe some of you are trying to suppress your demons, but I, I don't know if it's about suppressing your demons. I think it's more about embracing your demons or confronting them instead of pretending that they don't exist. Um, yeah. Those of you that are isolated and single, I feel like there are things that you're trying to work on. Now, if you do have some sort of thing that you're healing or recovering from, then yes, that's what you need to do. You need to heal. You need to rest. You need to recover. Um, but for others of you, I don't know what this is where, like whatever demons that you have that you're trying to suppress, it's like don't suppress them, just release them. Maybe by talking about them, maybe by um, instead of being in denial here about your shadow side, just be like, you know what, I guess I do have a mean streak or you know what, I guess I am extremely sexual. I guess I do like this. I guess I do like that. So instead of just trying to pretend like you, you're not some type of way, I feel like you need to uh, be true to yourself. Uh, which the son is also talking about someone who is being true to themselves, being out, being open, and not caring. Some of you have been doing a lot of research um, into uh, astrology and esoteric knowledge, maybe even sorcery, witchcraft, like you've been looking at some dark stuff. Um, but I mean, I don't feel like it's anything wrong with it. I mean, it is it, that information is there. There's something to learn from that knowledge. So some of you may also be having some sort of challenges in regards to your, um, the beliefs. Matter of fact, yeah. So whatever you were raised as, you might be letting that belief system go. Like this is some sort of tradition um, and you're learning how to break free and be a free thinker and think for yourself. Even if it's not spiritual, maybe it's something like political. Um, you're going against whatever structured systems are, like what society says. It's like you can't listen to society. Now, speaking of, I feel like someone who is supposed to be highly respectable may, be, it may get exposed for their real self. Um, it's like finding out um, mm, Putin is a homosexual or something. I don't know. It, it's like politically that would probably be just like a huge deal, especially if that's not who he portrays himself to be. Um, but I feel like whoever this is, this image that people respect don't know about this they don't know about that this person may this also could be someone who goes around preaching one thing when they are a sexaholic or um pick somebody who pick up prostitutes or um somebody who's having an affair they're supposed to be married but they they have an all sorts of affairs um just someone pretty opposite of this image here. This is their shadow side. Um, maybe you are some sort of leader, speaker, teacher, and you're talking about your shadow side. You're like putting it out there. Maybe you were hiding it at first. And maybe you're like, you know what? I can't hide this side of myself anymore. This is who I am. Because it looks like you're having a breakdown of identity here so a death of the ego you're it's like a way with however you have been previously been trained to think or speak that's not you anymore you're shedding some sort of image and i'm sorry i know this is supposed to be about love but wow okay that kind of went into some more personal things um so before I end the video, just kind of going back to your love situation. Someone needs to overcome their shyness. Someone needs to be more confident. Someone needs to speak up 
and express how they feel because they're hiding their feelings. They're suppressing them. They don't want you to know that they have feelings for you or you might not want someone to know that you have feelings for them. Um, I do feel like someone will overcome their shyness or if someone has their guards up that is coming to an end someone is going to have some sort of self-realization or so, some sort of clarity again i feel like it is as we go into sagittarius season and then someone makes a move a very bold move towards you um and um uh, i feel like once this person has made up their mind they're they're being courageous here so this is being very brave here with the chariot. This is also going towards what you want, but at the same time, protecting your um, your heart or your emotions. It's like saying, you know what? I'm going to go towards this person. I'm going to pursue my, my um, dreams or I'm going to go after who I love uh, with an open mind, but I'm going to also protect my heart. Um, and then also... You know, like I said, this could be how they're viewing you, the person that's coming towards you. They might come off kind of guarded because before they truly open up themselves, they need to learn. They need to trust you first or you need to trust someone. And then once some sort of trust is established, uh, guards will be coming down. That applies to if you're in a relationship already. Um, I feel like you guys are needing to establish trust so that your, the guards will come down all right so um <laughs> that is all that i have i hope the reading makes sense and resonates for you guys but thank you all for watching and many blessings to you